Tally ho, my name is King for Shoshan and welcome to Top Horn. Now, this is another game joke game, so I will leave a link in the description if you want to try this game for yourself. But from what I can tell, this game is a first person kind of exploring game from what I know of. And if you've been on the channel a while, you know that I love these games. If not, then I love these games. And these are the kind of games that I just really, really, I like to sit back and enjoy. So I'm going to click on this and see how this starts. Oh my god. That happens. Okay, I'm in the wilderness, and everything looks like super hot, which I still haven't yet to play yet. Boop, boop, that's the crystal. There's a dead guy here. You a zombie? Is that is that what's happening here? You a, There's a teddy bear. Okay, I, I didn't know that was going to go anywhere, but whatever. I'm in a bedroom. Okie dokie. I like the look of this. This is cool. Why can I look at the, the wall? Wait, why does it keep changing colour? I'm just going to guess it's a bit of a texture issue or something. What's in here? Oh, I have a really nice house. I really like this house. It's kind of nice. Can I open this? No. Okay. I don't know if there's a button to open doors. I'm going to assume not because this one was already open. Wait. Am I playing as this dude? Am I like jumping through people's memories? If so, that's kind of interesting. Oh, that was... The God damn. Or maybe I'm just teleporting to different areas through pressing things. Oh, this guy's dead. Is that the soldier? I'm going to assume it's possible the soldier. I don't know. That teddy bear is freaking everywhere. That's really creepy. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm going to assume that little weird pixely thingy, my bob, is the memories. So that's a good indicator to know where to go and what to do. I'm just going to check these pews to see if there's anything else on them. I don't think there is. Can I go through the door? Is that going to lead to a memory? Boo. No. I like the windows though. It's a nice shade of blue. I like them. This place feels like something out of a freaking horror game or sci-fi game though it's kind of weird kind of creepy but i like it hey i'm just gonna stroke your forehead there you go rest in peace buddy rest in peace come on teddy bear let's get out of here uh... oh okay i'm back here again okay nothing looks different so gonna assume that there is lots of different memories there's an aspirin bottle here or something buff out from fallout See how this goes. So I'm pretty much teleporting through different, like, kind of worlds, it seems. Is this a therapist office or something? Oh, God. I'm going to assume so. Why can I get on the table? Am I a child? I feel tiny. I'm, I'm kind of... There we go. Yeah, I, I look tiny. It's really weird. Anything behind there? No. I'm kind of just going to delete you from existence with my face. Because, you know, why not? Alright, so there's... Some guy clearly went through therapy. Thanks to Doctor with Susanna Smith. That's probably going to take me back to the bedroom, I'd imagine. Oh, it didn't. Things ch What the funker doodle dactyl do? There's guns everywhere. And it looks like I can click on, like, every one of them. Don't tell me this is one of those games where I've got to find the right gun and click on the right teleport. If so, you can just go and screw yourself. Because that's not going to happen. So. What? Right, so there's some sort of story. This soldier was shot by a rifle, but, like, who shot him? Is is, the, is those rifles trying to say that the person in therapy shot the soldier, or he shot the soldier and then he went to therapy, or is this just some giant circle? I'm really confused right now. Like, I don't actually know what's happening here. It's kind of confusing, but I kind of like it at the same time. It's interesting. It's intriguing. Uh, there's got to be some more, like, items that I need to click on or something. I feel like there's more than that. So, I'm looking around. So, what would be the point of, let's see. What would be the point of all this stuff? I'm surprised you can't click on the clock. The box. I mean, the suitcase. Why did I say box? Because I'm an idiot. Ooh, a train station. This is nice. I like this. Chugga, 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 chugga. There's a lot of explorable space here as well. I think I can click on any of the benches. That's probably how I'm going to leave, but I'm going to look around first. I kind of wish I could run. It doesn't seem like I can, and that's kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, I can't go past the... Oh, I wanted to go over the bridge. God damn it. I don't think there is actually any other way apart from on the train, so... I'm going to board and look around. Hmm. Nice little train. I like it. I can't get through the door, so I kind of. Uh, uh, 
Let, let, let me, let, please, I just wanna, can't get off that way, okie dokie then, guess I'm going back that way, there we go, ah, scritchy, scratchy stuff on my mouse pad and it's making, oh, stop it, making my, oh god, it's making my mouse scratch, that was my finger then, I put my finger over the sensor, I didn't realise it would actually do that, because it's never done it before, how odd, uh, I guess none of these are different, so I'm going to click on that, what is this going to take us? Back to the house? To the therapist's office? Oh! Oh! Oh god! Mayday! Mayday! We're going down! We're going down! Oh god no! Oh, a lot of those people dying everywhere! It's so bad! Can I not just jump off? Screw you guys, I'm out of here. I am one badass, I'm just standing here just looking the thing over. And that's going to lead to the soldier getting shot again. What the hell was that noise? Sounded like something fell. Or dropped. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna look over here. I didn't look over here before. I don't think there is anything else here though. I get the feeling it's just that. Oh! It appears I've actually completed all the different segments. There wasn't any more to see. That, that was actually really, really kind of oddly interesting game. Like, because it was incredibly simple. But it had a nice aesthetic to it, and it looked like it was trying to tell some sort of story. And I think these lines are all trying to match up, like, how the story goes or something. So from the look of it, that first one is a soldier being dropped into battle. I'm not sure which one. Let's just say it's the soldier that got killed. We'll just say that. So that soldier got dropped into battle. He got... While Meme was getting dropped into battle, and there was the other soldier was in... Or whatever, was in therapy. Probably, maybe because he didn't want to kill people and he knew what was going to happen. Or maybe he was like a veteran and he knew like the, the casualties of war and stuff like that. So he went to therapy. He got the gun. It, like, he That's why he saw the guns, because he was like, Oh, oh no, it's going to happen again. Oh no. So then he then was dropped into battle and shot the soldier who was on the plane. That soldier, for some reason, had a house. <laughs> I'm not too sure why with that one. But, you know, why not? Then it showed the dead dude. I'm not sure if that's the soldier. But I have no idea. If you guys can interpret this, and if you guys can tell what this, what's going on in this story, leave it in the comments. I'd love to know what's going on. And I'm sure everybody else would after my freaking amazing explanation. <laughs> this was the short kind of just cool kind of game. I enjoyed it. It was nice. I liked it. It had a, a cool kind of atmosphere to it. But anyways, guys, I'll leave this in the comment, uh, not comment section, in the description if you want to play it. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to slap that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> oh, God. Hello. You're a bunch of dudes. I'm a dude. He's a dude. You're a dude. But now you're a dead dude. Well, I can't drop... Yeah, you didn't see shit. Whew. I'm in panic.